The CapEx 2020 power line proposal from the Twin Cities to La Crosse is leaving many people with some unanswered questions. News Channel 8's Lara Reed joins us now live from the American Legion Hall in La Crescent where the group is holding an open house. Lara, what are some of the questions people are coming in with tonight? Well, guys, the American Legion Hall is quickly filling up. They started this meeting at about 5 o'clock, and there are a lot of people here behind me. And some of the questions that, and things that they're worried about are specifically where these towers could be built, what the impact might be on local environments, and if the line is going to help with renewable energy concerns. And those are all questions that organizers here are ready and willing to answer. And residents are also giving their input on what they think the best route for these lines might be. There are pink lines on all of the maps here that represent the possible places that the line could be put in, in put in and the big question right now is where to cross the Mississippi River they have three options in Alma in Winona or in La Crescent Lacrosse when you're trying to go in between uh, you know between two or three states you have to get all the parties sitting down together to try to agree upon the best possible route and it doesn't work if Wisconsin chooses one river crossing and Minnesota chooses another. Now, the final decision on where the line will run will be up to state officials from both states, as well as a few federal agencies. But CapEx is asking for public input when narrowing down the possible routes. They want to have just two choices. To me, following the river valley doesn't make sense. I just, I don't like the idea that they're coming right down through the river valley and the impact that's going to make environmentally. Mainly the bird uh, migration. They're concerned about uh, the new lines would be higher. Now, CapEx officials tell me where possible they want to put this power line in where the one, are, the one already exists. So, for example, in Alma, if they cross the river up there, they'll tear down those tower lines and put up other lines in place. The difference is that they will be much bigger towers. All right. Thank you so much, Laura, for that information. For more information on the project or to find out when the open house will be, log on to CapEx2020.com.